Welcome back guys, Mr. Bennett here. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, the easier part of calculus, which is learning the rules. Um, now, I have to keep in mind what we've been learning about in the first few videos in the segment is first principles. Now, first principles is in fact a proof. Right? So we're proving these things work. Now, what uh, you'll generally find is uh, we don't use that for anything else but for a proof. And now we're going to be using these rules that I've given you on a sheet. Right? So we'll just go through the differential calculus ones. These are all the rules there that you'll learn over the whole topic. So that's all up front for you. The, the one that we're going to concentrate today is these first two. So we're looking at the C one and this one here. All right, so that's the rule that we'll be looking at. And, and then we'll work on, uh, in later videos, we'll go into the product rule and the function rule and so on. All right, so this whole topic, this whole chapter three, is about learning the rules of calculus and how to do those. All right, so let's get started and you'll find it pretty easy. It's not that hard. All right, so the rule here that we're using is that x to the n is equal to n x to the n take 1. So all we're doing here now, you'll get these things presented in two different ways. If I get a y term, then I have to write dy dx. And that's saying I'm differentiating y with respect to x. Now, all I do is I bring my power down, so that's 6x, and then I decrease my power by 1. And that becomes 6x to the 5. And that's it, done. All right. Keeping in mind when we're doing these things, what we'll be doing is trying to break them down into really simple steps. Now, I'm going to before I do this, I'm going to write this a slightly different way. I want to write these as a power. So, when we have something like x to the four, one over x to the four, that becomes x to the negative four. Okay. So when you change the from the top to the bottom or bottom to the top, you have to change the sign. So now I can bring the power down, it becomes negative 4. And then when I uh, decrease that by 1, so that's going to become x to the negative 5, because that will be negative 4 take 1. So that's that one there. Now you may write it back in the same form, which is going to be negative 4 all over x to the 5. But it'd be okay to keep it like that. All right, in example 3... Now we've got it slightly different, we've got a f of x. So f of x and y mean the same thing, a function of x, okay? So when you get something like this, you have to do f dashed of x, all right? So now all we're doing is gonna treat these as separate problems, okay? So we've got the problem here, we've got the yellow one, then we've got our blue one, then we've got our green problem, and then we've got our purple problem. So we're going to treat this as four separate problems while we're doing this calculation. So do this first one. That's 3x. Decrease the power by 1 is 2. Okay, I'm going to bring the 2 down. 2 times by 2 is going to give me 4x to the 2 take 1, which is going to be 1. I don't normally write the 1 there. Now, x, any value with x uh, will become whatever the value is. So that's going to become equal to 1. All right? And then this constant value, if we go back to our rule up the top here, our c becomes equal to zero. So that's any number that we have in there will become zero. So that's our answer there. Okay, now if I had 3x, then that would become equal to 3 when I differentiate that one up. All right, so you get the idea? Look, we'll do some more. Now, this is a, another sort of question that you might get. Um, if I get something like this, we don't know how to deal with two different functions. So what we have to do is divide this term down the bottom to all of these other terms. All right. So I can now rewrite that as x to the 4 plus 3x to the 3 take 2. All right. So that will be what my function is. So then when I do my derivative f dash of x, that's going to become equal to 4x to the 3 plus, now 3 times 3 is going to give me 9x squared, and then the 2 is going to disappear. So that's my final answer there. All right, get the idea? All right, so when you get a chance to do some of these, it will be uh, pretty, you know, a bit of fun. I, I, I quite enjoy doing this stuff. It's, it's, it's easy. All right, so in this particular case here, Actually, I'll get rid of the 
F dash. I'm going to rewrite this and again. The secret to doing any of these questions is to write these as x to the powers. Okay, so you can't do anything to the first one. When I get a serve, something like that, then I can write that as x to the half. Okay, x to the half. And then because I've got that thing down the bottom, when I bring that, it's going to become 2x to the minus 1. Alright, so that's the secret to these, is write these as powers. Okay, so when I do my f dashed, then that's going to become 7 times 2 is 14x to the 6. Now, I don't treat that any differently than the normal number. I go, a half comes down, it's my power. A half take a half. What's a half take a half? Well, it's going to be negative a half. Okay, and then I'm going to go, negative 1 times negative 2 will become plus 2. X to the negative 1 take 1 is negative 2. Now, you can just leave it like that, but you may need to rearrange that. And if you do that, that becomes, well, that's still going to be a third. Um, bring the 2 down the bottom line, and that's going to be a half to x to the power of a half, which is square root of x, plus 2 over x squared. hope you can see that. If you can't, don't panic. Not the end of the world. You'll get used to using that sort of terminology. All right, doing something like this one here. Again, I need to write that as a third if I can. All right, so let's do some uh, rearrangement first. Now that's x to the 2, that's x to the half. Okay, when to combine those two powers, what do we do? We add the powers together. So that will become equal to 3 over x to the 2.5 or 5 on 2 is the way of writing that. So then I'd be writing this here as 3x to the minus 5 on 2. All right. Because I've got y, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do my dy dx. Okay? So my dy dx is going to be equal to 3 times by negative 5 on 2. x. Now, 5 on 2 take 1. When I'm doing that, I'm going to be thinking that it's like 2 on 2. So that will give me minus 7 on 2. So that will give me an answer of minus 15 on 2, x to the minus 7 on 2. I think we'll just leave it as that for now. All right? So now in exercise 3D, the other question that you might get asked is find the slope of the tangent to this function at the point x equals 1. Well, we've really just been doing that. Because the slope of the, the different differentiation, or the derivative, is in fact the slope of the tangent at that point. Now, we've done these type of questions using first principles. That's what we were doing. Okay, We don't have to go through that whole tedious thing of writing a page uh, to get one answer. We can do that simply by going, well, f dashed of x is going to be equal to what? Well, that's going to be 4 times by 3, which is 12 x squared plus 2 so therefore f dashed of 1 is going to be equal to 12 times by 1 squared plus 2 it's going to give me an answer of 14 so it tells me for that function there and I don't know really what that function is but it could be something like this it's a quality cubic sorry so it's got a turning point so what it's saying is over here the slope of the tangent at 1 might be, have a slope of 14. So the key thing there is that the, the derivative at a point is in fact the slope of the tangent at this point over here when x is equal to 1. Alright, get the idea? So I really want you to just practice in exercise 3D the first two rules. Okay, Remember the first rule is... If you've got something like a constant value, then the derivative becomes equal to 0. If you've got something which is x to the n, then that can be written as x to the n take 1. Alright, so good luck with 3D. Have a bit of fun. Right, it's actually, uh, once you get the hang of it, I think you'll find it quite easy.